Hi guys and welcome to the latest video. This is going to be a live stream report. So it's Monday afternoon um, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some sales we had over the past week. Some of the more interesting sales we've had over the past week. Um, we did this last week. Beck actually joined me for that one, which is really cool. But she's a bit busy at the moment doing some stuff upstairs. So um, it's just going to be me on my own today. And um, hopefully you guys won't be too disappointed by that. Um, also, I should just mention that one of the items I'm showing is expected. We are expecting to get it uh, picked up from us today. So if I do have to rush to the front door to answer that and, and hand the pa parcel over, please um, forgive that as well. That would be great. Um, so I'll say a few highs. Uh, we've got Stephen Bennett in the chat, which is fantastic. Paul Mosley, Richard Payne, John Morris, Daisy May and Jojo have popped in. So hi guys, welcome. So it's not going to be a massively long stream. Um, it's just going to be, you know, like, hey, guys, this is what we sold. These are some of the cool items we've sold or some of the more interesting items we have sold. Um, and and it, just that's all it's going to be. Um, we've also had shop windows pop in. Carla has popped in uh, and into the crochet garden as well. That's a fantastic username into the crochet garden. there. Um, so afternoon, everybody um, spent most of this morning just packaging which is really frustrating i'm supposed to be doing a parcel run says carla all your fault now when they're late um i'm meant to be doing that as well but we're kind of delayed you should go out and do your parcel run really carla i, I think that's what you should do you don't want any late defects just for watching a stream um and um Adorel the craft forest says hi hi there um welcome to the live stream um so guys it's basically a weekly thing we're trying to do here where we're just going to share the um more interesting sales we had a pretty good week of sales last week um really pleased with that um and we've actually sold a little bit more variety than normal um i do mean a little bit though it is still a lot of the same stuff so um you know that that's just the way it is um phoebe has popped in as well and daisy may says we've sat just sat down to lunch with pancakes sounds amazing uh, peter ray has popped in and so has yola at reseller mum happy monday mid shipping here i'm really pleased i've done my shipping i've just got i've actually got two parcels to do um left but i'm gonna you know she carla asked will i miss anything amazing probably not carla if i'm honest with you no i doubt it's gonna be mind-blowing um if you need to go i would go and get the shipping done um okay guys so let's get kick off with this and um and go through some of the stuff we've sold now let me just switch over um let's just go over to scene two All right this is the first item i want to share with you guys this is actually pretty cool i got this off of a car boot sale um and i don't think i paid much i think i paid 50 pence or a pound um i believe i actually got this from hixie um, he was just getting rid of some stuff and he was happy to let me have it for like a quid or 50p I think it was um, I thought it was really cool it was a an indoor aerial I did say to him why you know are you sure he was like yeah that's fine he just wanted to get rid of it um, and it's an indoor aerial as you can see it's really vintage it's super old um, it's got like the rabbit ears um, the, the antenna wire wasn't even terminated um, so it's like, you know, it didn't have like a, a connector on the end, um, but that's how they came. And you can see the packaging was epic. I just took a close up photo there. You can see the tarnishing on the on the actual antenna as well. Um, and there's the box. The, the packaging was what made this really. Um, you can see universal indoor television antenna, silver ribbon. Um, and you know that's tarnished I don't know if it was actually silver but I don't think it was um, it would be quite dangerous I'm guessing if it was a uh, DX model SU112 made in Japan can be used for FM so you can see really cool and look at those instructions on the back assembly and operation instructions I think that's absolutely like super mega cool now as you can see, I t took a more photos, I think, of the packaging than I did of the item because I think the packaging was cooler than the item. Um, and, and in some cases, it's worth um, focusing on, on the more 
interesting um, part of what you're selling. Now, as you can see, I actually had this listed at a ridiculously made up price, um, 5478, a lot more money than, I don't know, I don't know whether I expected to get it. I thought I could possibly get 5478. Um, I think it would have started off at like 50 or something and then it, things would have gone up. I had it up at 54.78. I did not get that. I did not get 54.78. Someone made an offer of £20, so way, way under. And because it was the first interest I'd had, the first proper offer I'd had, I didn't want to mess around with it. And I, if someone thought it was worth 20 quid to them, I was more than happy to sell it to them for 20 quid, considering I'd only paid 50 pence um, or a pound max for it. And plus it was the first interest I'd had in a, a couple of months of it being listed. So I wanted to move it on. So still a cool item, still a good sale, but nowhere near as impressive as, as it looks on screen. It's not 5478. I sold it for 20 quid, offer accepted. Um, so I was just like, yeah, super pleased with that sale. All right, we're just going to move on. Um, John says, hi, Z, can you spanner me up? I missed out on Nick doing it. I'm not sure I need any more spanners, John. I mean, it's, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> there will be nothing for you to do. Um, Peter's in here. Carla's in here. Um, Phoebe's in here as well. Um, I think she's, no, she's not a spanner either. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's kind of pointless at the moment. Um, but if I do need them, like if we get, um, you know, loads of viewers and trolling and things, then obviously I'd do it. But otherwise it's, you know, not really an issue at the moment. Um, Forge Your Own Path says, hello. Um, Stephen Bennett says, I've done my Hermes drop off today. Um, that's good. Um, right, let me just move on to the second item that I wanted to share with you guys. And that is a... Um, a die cast car. Richard says 50p to 20 pounds. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. I mean, I, I, like I said, it was the first interest I had and I didn't want to mess around with it. So it's gone. Um, now, this was a nice item. This is a die cast uh, car from a brand called Spark. Spark models are really good. Even though Mini Champ is a more popular manufacturer, Spark models uh, tend to hold really good value. In often cases, you'll find that their die cast cars will sell um, have like higher resale value in a lot of cases um, compared to a lot of the Mini Champ stuff. This is a Yano Trulli F1 car um, from the Chinese Grand Prix 2011. Now, the weird thing is, the reason why I'm sharing this sale is I had two of these and um, they both sold like in the same day. Um, so I was, I was pretty pleased. Um, I took an offer. It was up for 37.78. You can see I originally had three and now they're all gone. Um, I took an offer for £33 um, and, you know, I was really pleased for that for that to go in there. I think it's actually on its way to Germany, so um, pretty happy with that. So look out for that brand, Spark Model, very good company, um, very good quality models. Um, the plinth that the car um, is on, it like, it tends to be have like a nice texture as well. It's not just a plastic plinth. It's like a, almost like a clay type thing, but it's not, you know, or a ceramic feel to, to the plinth. Um, Peter is just saying, just to say, Karin Fisher is live at half past two. Um, so guys, bear that in mind. Karin's going to be live um, at half two. So that's fantastic. Uh, she says, hi, everyone. I've just set up to go live at 2.30. Lol, Peter beat me to it. This is Karin. So if you haven't already, click on Karin Fisher's, um, there's three dots by her name. If you click on that, you can go to her channel and subscribe, which would be fantastic for her. And obviously, um, pop into the stream at half past two. So that's that car. Um, Paul says, I'm not having a good morning. I put over 30 postage labels upside down on my Jiffy bags. Ah, it happens when you've got that many parcels. I'm sure it can get frustrating. Um, moving on, another die car sale, but again, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, it's a Corgi Peugeot 309 model. Um, I had it up for 22.78, but I accepted an offer of 15 pounds. I've sold two. I've got two available. Um, they're a bit slow to go, to be honest. Um, it's probably because of the condition, and I always tend to undersell the condition. I've I've made sure that you know people get a good idea if of the 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 packaging and the, the crack in the case, etc. Um, so yeah, you know, it takes maybe it makes it a little less. 
uh, desirable for the collectors out there. The cars themselves are in perfect condition. It's just the packaging that is damaged. However, that will put a lot of um, die cast collectors off, especially if they've got a choice of sellers to choose from. They're going to choose sellers that are describing their items or have items which are brand new. As you can see, even though this was shop stock, um, I still marked it as used condition just because I wouldn't if I was buying a an, a, an item and it's a collectible style item and even though this was new from a shop clearance this was part of our huge haul um, if I had received this car um, and someone had told me it was new or new other I would not even though the car itself is mint I would not have been happy because you know for me an item like this a collectible item is not just about the, the the car itself it's also about the condition of the display case the description um, the condition of the sleeve um, and touch wood I've not had any issues with selling these because of my description because I don't want to you know to say to people hey it's new it's perfect um, and you can kind of see here that I've got like on my description here um, I don't know if you can read that um, yeah, there you go. Including sh shelfware from long-term display, including sticker residue, scuffing, cracking to plastic case. And then I have explained that the model itself has never been removed, so it is good condition, but worth being that extra little bit careful, I think. Let's just pop back into the chat. Um, I'm going to have to go and do my parcel run, says Carla. Uh, that's fine. I hope you get there in time. Um, Phoebe says Lotus stopped racing in 2015. I think that would have made it popular as well, I think, says Phoebe. Oh, that's great knowledge. I had no idea about that. So <laughs> great. Um, Stephen Bennett says just subscribe to Karin. That's fantastic. Um, Treasure Pirate Heather says hi, as does ads. Um, okay. Um, Peter Ray says Z, you ever sold boxed die cast James Bond cars? No, I've not. I've not come across any to sell. So no, I have not. Um, all right, let's just move on to the next item. Um, the next item I want to share with you guys are these Iron Man, um, like, uh, chest reactor toys. Um, I got these um, as part of the haul. Um, like everything's part of the damn haul, isn't it? Um, we paid very little for these. I think we paid, like, around 70 to 80 pence per unit, which is fantastic. We sent a load up to Amazon. Well, similar ones, not the same ones. And they're selling on there quite regularly. Um, these are really nice toys. They are, again, these are new um, as well. However, because they've been in their packaging for so long, um, and, you know, any toy which has got like a try me um, function, you can bet your bottom dollar that while it was on the shop floor, while it was on display, kids would have been trying it and trying it and using it. And plus just the age of the item. If if, if it was a slow seller for the, sh the store um, and, and this stuff has just been sat in storage, the battery is going to eventually die. Um, and some of these, the batteries are really dead, really slow. Um, but, you know, you have to describe that as accurately as you can. Um, I have actually mentioned in, in here that it's a new toy, but no, the batteries should be, included batteries should be replaced because they were intended for demo purposes and are now most likely near the end of their life, if not dead. So I've kind of like put in like a little description there, but you know, that's just me to just let people know what they're buying. And I sold that for 11 99 with free shipping. So it's pretty pleased, good profit there as well. Um, let's pop over to the next item um this is quite cool sell for me i've now sold this is my third one i believe or is my second one i think one of them was actually a return so that's not accurate i actually sold two this is a an engine it's a, a petrol engine for a, a radio control plane um i got these as part of a job lot and they're all they've all got some kind of damage some kind of fault this box actually came with two engine bodies or two crank shafts or crank cases sorry um as, as they would be called um so you know i've taken detailed photos of what's included um the condition of it um, and i've made sure to say these are for parts not working um, including damage scoring to internal so whoever buys these engines should know that they're buying them just for parts and if they can fix them up and get them running that's great but that's completely um the the, the, the um condition of the item 
I had this up for 79.99 I took an offer uh, for 70 pounds so pretty pleased so like a, a damaged engine basically um, so happy to see that go as well okay moving on this is probably the best sale I've had in a while best sale we've had for for quite a time um it was it was a bit of a shame this was an item that we actually took a loss on um it would have only been a small loss but a loss nonetheless on an individual basis um and this is a one fifth scale monster truck um z what's the cell that surprised you that it sold um i'm not sure what you mean peter like um that surprised me um i don't know did i say something surprised me i've forgotten already pete i'm not sure um but yeah this is a one fifth scale monster drug it, this thing is absolutely huge um it is it is just ridiculously large the box that it comes in is massive and this is actually what we're waiting to be collected any moment now um unfortunately we don't know when the courier is going to turn up to pick it up but as soon as they do i'll be really pleased because we will get our corridor back because it's out by the front door right now waiting to be picked up this thing is massive it's a fifth scale petrol monster truck huge 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 item you need a lot of space to use these um so like i said we sold it for 670 pounds plus shipping um but that means after fees etc we did take a loss on it um not a huge loss but we did take a loss on it on an individual basis but it allowed us to get like a bigger haul um overall which will make us a ton of profit so you know this is just this is the item that we mentioned um in our friday chat with beck um moving on here is another item that we actually got um we paid i think 30 pounds for a pokemon with a poker walker pokemon game with a poker walker it was one of those heart gold i think it was um the box edition with the poker walker and we got this monopoly for 30 pounds i think we paid total um so yeah we technically we paid like a tenner for this 20 quid for the game um again technically we've overpaid for this because we accepted an offer of 15 pounds um for this board game with free shipping so again on an individual basis we may have only just broke even um having paid a tenner for it um and then selling it for 15 um after fees and everything so we would have probably just gotten our money back however because it also allowed us to get the pokemon heart gold for 20 pounds which sold for like 70 or something on amazon i think it was or maybe it was on ebay but we sold for like 70 odd quid overall profit so just glad to see this pokemon board game go i thought pokemon monopoly would be worth more but um ebay is literally saturated with new um uh, new versions of this game so like you know brand new in box um sealed versions of this game selling for about 20 quid 25 quid so we asked for 23 we got an offer of 15 we took it got rid of it it's done bcp says it's a whopper very true um adam says hi all listening whilst packing a very heavy slate mantelpiece clock superb um okay moving on another rc car this is quite a nice one it's a small 18th scale rock crawler um i had to actually put this together the when i received this um it was it, again part of the haul the back end was not assembled it was like taken apart for whatever reason i put it all together it was working nicely tested it all out um and we got 110 pounds plus shipping so we got asking for that which was really cool uh, moving on this was actually a sale to someone who watches peter hill um so shout out to peter hill if you're out there um he picked this buggy up off me for 84.99 it's a ecx amp buggy um it's basically new um it had like no use to it that i could see at all um i did obviously make sure it was all like functioning okay um he did actually contact me saying there was a bit of a grinding sound when he was in reverse but that could be just how it sounds but you know because i'm pretty certain it's it's um new as you know new uh, basically a new buggy so i sold a seller refurbished excellent condition with barely any marking on it whatsoever moving on this is um an interesting sale because i've had these headphones for a while um i picked up a job lot of these they're new they're phillips over the head headphones they look pretty funky you know they've got that kind of cool 
um, 90s look about them. Um, Stephen Bennett says I would pay fi- I would pay fifteen pounds for that Pokemon Monopoly. Well, someone did Stephen, and and they've got it, <laughs> so it's gone. Um, but yeah, this was um, a nice set of headphones. I paid fifty pence each for these headphones, and I've got a bunch of them. I think I've got nine available. It says there. I've sold three so far. Two of them. Th- this sale was actually for two of them, so I took I sold two at eleven pounds each. Uh, so it's twenty two pounds in total. And the buyer is in Thailand, so they're on their way to Thailand. Two of these headphones. I was pretty pleased to actually get that, um, get those sales. Eleven pounds each, I think, is is fair um, for what they are. They've been sitting around. Pretty cool. They come in a little pouch. There it says you can hear the difference. So that is pretty nice. Okay, uh, let's move on to the last three items. Um, Okay, go that. this is something I've shared on Instagram, um, but I was really happy to share it on Instagram and on Facebook as well. This was a, a sale that I thought I would have had sooner, but it took a bit longer than expected. But this is a video 8 copy of the Gremlins movie, um, so super rare. Gremlins movie as it is probably isn't worth um, a huge amount of money. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a, a, an extremely valuable uh, like movie on VHS or anything from what I know. But because this is on Video 8, which is quite rare to see pre-recorded movies on Video 8. Video 8 is normally used in camcorders, so you normally find blank Video 8 tapes, which themselves do have some value. Um, but to find pre-recorded films is very rare. So I got that um, for £34, um, sold that for £34.78 plus uh, shipping um so it's going abroad international so very happy to see that sale um pete asked how's the weather there today Z? um it's nice it was blue sky earlier it's a bit cloudy now but still some blue sky out there so um really um happy with how today is looking actually much more positive and sunny than it has been so um that's that's a cool thing in my opinion um all right on to the final item guys um finally we have sold the uh, scary doll that we showed on the uh, original thrift battle that i was on now beck didn't want to sell this originally um she wanted to keep it because she was planning on like knitting some like kids clothes and using the doll and she, she, i think she just liked the doll but she never really got around to that and so she was like okay just sell it so we initially tried to sell these dolls we, we actually ended up with two dolls because she bought one for 20 quid one for 15 quid i think um and we ended up with two of the same dolls but one with eyes open which is this one and one with eyes closed uh, eyes closed isn't worth as much as the eyes open so um even though we had these on a bundle for like 100 110 pounds we didn't get any like interest in the bundles would get the odd bit of interest but nobody would actually uh you know make a firm offer or anything um and we once had um and like a someone pay and then oh sorry buy an item and then not pay um so we we kept that listing up for quite a while and we were like I just, you know, we got frustrated, so Beck decided that we'd split the dolls and sell the the eyes open and eyes closed dolls separately. So we paid twenty pounds, I think, for this doll. Um, and um, Lisa asked, "Where is Beck?" Beck's actually upstairs doing some stuff. I think she's got some work to be getting on with, so she didn't want to join us today because she had busy with that. Um, and uh, Ray says hello. And Lisa says, oh my god, that's one ugly baby. It looks really cross, says Heather. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a, I don't know, some people like this stuff. Um, and, you know, they're very realistically painted. Um, it's a baby of some kind, I guess. Um, and you've got there the maker. So LW is the initial of the artist and ADG is Ashton Drake Galleries. So we did research that. Um, and like I said, we paid, I think, £20 for this one. And it sold really quickly on its own for £80. Now, we kind of wish we'd done this earlier. But we decided to bundle because we thought bundle would be better value and we'd get a bit more money. But no one wanted to buy them both together. So I'm guessing people are very specific about what they buy. Um, so, yeah, there we go. So sold for 80 quid plus 6 99 shipping. So really pleased. That's probably my favourite sale of the week, actually, because really good profit and quite um yeah quite um 
interesting looking, don't you guys think? Um, some comments coming in um, from the chat. Um, stick it in the window to keep burglars away, says BCB. Um, Andy says another nightmare on its way tonight. <laughs> Gosh, um, yeah, Heather says, my eyes, it cannot be unseen. Oh, poor, poor little doll. I'm sure whoever bought her will be very pleased with her, and that's the main thing. Not everyone's cup of tea, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, actually, guys, that's the end of what I had to share in terms of our more interesting sales of the week. Um, I hope you found some interesting items in there that you can um, maybe pick up and or look out for yourself. If you, you know, if you did, leave the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Leave a comment in the comment section, um, and I will see you guys um, in the next video. So I'm gonna make a move because I've got my own postage to do. Um, see you guys later.